Odin uh, in M Gear Science version one, if I recall correctly. And there is a tool that it's uh, probably needs a little update, but it's still very useful. So I'm gonna explain how to use it quickly. And it has a few options here when you open it. And you have the number of deformers. That's the number of joints it's gonna add. Uh, if it keep position or not based in radio, I'm I'm gonna explain this later. The name, and then the build rope but button and a little instruction select the control curve and the a vector curve so what this tells us is that we need two curves to select first so let's draw quickly the curves and i'm gonna just gonna create um where is the curves and i'm just gonna draw quickly one curve and just for the sake of uh, example i'm just gonna duplicate it Okay, so this is gonna be my um, control curve, and this is gonna be my a uh, vector curve. So select the control, select the vector, and we're gonna use the default name and uncheck the keep position. So we have it there. So that's it. This is the rope um, rig that it creates, and if we check here the um, transformations uh, ta -ta -ta. local rotation axis so we can see here that we have these two ropes so now with this uh, in place um, well we know this one curve okay let me okay you can, I can do it okay here we go so you can uh, skin these curves to something else and create your own bricks like can be a strap, a belt, uh, hair, I don't know. I use it in many places and it's very simple. I mean it's it's very very basic structure but it's it's light. It's not like um, if you use other systems like the uh, uh, follicles and things like that that it tends to be a little a little slower. As I told you at the beginning of the video, this is a tool that it's quite old actually, but it's still useful. And let me show you something here. So we were talking about the base of the radio. No, now it's unchecked, so when I generate it, so you can see when I stretch the curve from the beginning to the to the end on the on the, on the other direction, it spreads evenly all the uh, deformers that we have. But if we check this, um, I'm going to do the quick example here. So I'm just going to delete this and delete there. And I'm just going to check this. Okay, I need my shortcuts. Okay, here we go. So, looks the same that what we had before. Um, but in this case, because we, we check this keep position based on radio, now Obviously, if we do it smaller, it's gonna compress. But if we do bigger, you see. Let me uncheck the the grid, so probably it's you can see better. Um, it keeps the the length. So this is very useful when you do like tails or other stuff that you don't want that uh, stretch. So or like if you're doing like some um, cloth rigging, some flaps on the on the skirts or the jacket or something. So probably you want this kind of. Um, option so you don't you don't worry if it's stretchy like a uh, rubber or something so that's it how to use the rope uh, tool and see you in the next video bye bye